replaced those orange lights with these right here. But um, so what we were just looking at, my exhaust broke the other day, and um, I was driving and all of a sudden it just broke off car got really loud it still is so I wanted to make a video on it and uh, you can see that oxygen sensor was right after where it broke so I did a custom setup right here just the coolant temperature RPMs and then the three oxygen sensors there's one oxygen sensor on both sides of the bank and then it uses a second oxygen sensor after the cat so you can see the one that's highlighted in blue right now is working fine and uh, the bank 2 sensor 1 is working fine but as you can see bank 1 sensor 2 is not moving at all if I click on it it's reading a little something but it's just not really doing anything and that's because the pipe is uh, not really on anymore and I tried to push it up and get it to catch on the other side of the pipe a bit just so it's uh, getting some exhaust flow but it just falls back down so just wanted to show you how that would affect the uh, oxygen sensors I'm surprised they haven't got a check engine light for it but I'm getting it re-welded I have to go to a shop for that because unfortunately I do I don't have a welder myself so um, that's another thing I wanted to talk about um, when you're getting stuff welded, I took it to a shop just for them to give me a quote, and they wanted 285 plus tax for a new uh, catalytic converter. And um, I know I need one anyway. It's not really because of the cat itself is bad. It's just because where it broke at and the rust that's on it, it'd be almost impossible to weld it. And if I did do something, I'm sure I probably could get it to hold for a while, but it would just break eventually. So, my suggestion, if that ever happens to you, is, or anytime you're getting anything done in the exhaust shop, their parts are a lot more expensive. Go online, shop around, find cheap but good quality parts, and you can find them out there. Like, when I needed a muffler and a flex pipe, I got them real cheap, got them welded on cheap. But if you ever do that, go buy your own parts and bring them to the shop and have them weld or welded on for you it'll be so much cheaper like they quoted me like five hundred dollars when I needed the uh, muffler and the flex pipe done and by the time I was done I only spent about 280 so definitely uh, something to consider I know you know a lot of people just don't want to be bothered with it but saving a whole lot of money it's always a good thing and that's just what I'm trying to do you know help you save some money learn something um, the only other thing I want to talk about I showed you the front end of my car I did the uh, green headlights that's a vinyl wrap it's a green glossy vinyl wrap um, and then the blinker indicators I uh, changed from orange to like the clearish just something I like you know it's uh, always nice to customize your car a little bit I'm, not really doing too much motor stuff right now because I'm just going to swap from the uh, VQ to the VQ35 out of the 350Z. They make a lot more aftermarket parts for that car. It's a lot easier to build. Um, but where is that sensor again? Yeah, so as you can see, like I said before, this is the oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter. Um, and it's really just now the pipe must have fallen because as you can see it's literally not reading anything at all so I'm gonna uh, get that fixed and then when I do I'll make another video and show you the difference and how it really does affect it but I just want to update you guys a bit I uh, haven't made a video video in a while so I just wanted to let you know what was going on I'll have uh, a lot more videos soon so stay tuned and thank you for watching and have a good day.